All right, so let's make a formal introduction for our listeners. Uh, good morning, Annie. My name is Claudio. I'm calling you from Washington, D.C., uh, from the students in Fairfax City. We're very humble, grateful that Annie Hasman accepted our invitation to our show. Annie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to the album last night, well, a couple of times this week. Uh, I'm referring to the Legacy Tour Fall 2022 double CD, which yes. was released in August. It's, it's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, I wasn't sure, quite sure how it was going to be um, accepted mate, because of, you know, putting some of my solo pieces in there, but it seemed to go down really well. Then I think it was a good choice of songs and diff something different, something they didn't expect, really. Yeah, absolutely. I know the music is great, but the, the presentation uh, with that amazing art is very, very nice as well. Yeah, they're, and, uh, they're they're great songs, and yeah, I mean, there's so many. Always, as you know, so many Renaissance songs to choose from. It's it's crazy, ridiculous, really. Yeah, is that what recorded at the Westwick Theatre, right? In in Keswick. Keswick. Yep. Keswick. Yeah, yeah, the first. Keswick Theatre. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, yeah, we recorded the the last two DVDs that we did. We didn't do the DVD this time because because of the pandemic. The prices for everything, like everything in the world now, is shot up and made it, you know, just impossible for us to 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 record it on DVD this time, which was a shame. But you know, at least we've got some some kind of record of it. Absolutely, I imagine that uh, you know your your dream was to hear and perform with your work with the orchestra as well, right? Yes, so yes, that was wonderful. It really was. Yeah, especially songs that. You know, meant a lot to me. Um, I think that you know, blessing in disguise. Um, yeah. uh, it was such a great experience working with Tony Visconti, and uh, yeah. you know, most of the album that's from we wrote nearly all the songs on it together, as well as he produced it. But yeah, that to hear that, but we didn't do that with orchestra, fully enough. Um, but, yeah. but but uh, but we did it. I hadn't done it for quite a while, and it, then it it came out really beautiful. Um, and uh, Larry Fast, of course, um, who I've written songs with, um, Celestine, we did, which is another of my favorite songs. Yeah. A beautiful song. Yeah. yeah. And then Justin Hayward's song as well, of course, A Angel's yeah. Cry. Yeah. Yeah. You, you start the, uh, the presentation with the Carpet of the Sun, which is a very beautiful song, man. Right. I ne I'm never tired of listening to that one. Yeah, it's funny that everybody says that. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Um, get, no. It's a good job I don't get sick of singing it because I've sung it a lot. <laughs> you know? That's right. How difficult is for you to put? Well, we have three, six. We have about twelve track in the album. You know, you have, you know, your old repertoire over the years. How how you um how do you end up selecting which are well, that's the it's, tracks they're going to be performing. There's going to be some of them. It, it's difficult. I'd say it's difficult mm -hmm. because you know, um, I mean, a lot of bands have got a few great songs, and then it, uh, you know, and then some songs that they just it, actually. I think that's it, more in the past now. Thinking about it, but people would fill up the album with songs that weren't quite as good as you know the the, yeah. the main, you know, the, the the instant hits and everything. But we've had so many, I mean, so many amazing songs. The problem is with them is that they're too long. To, so so if we, we, can, we can only play for two hours and the, most of the songs, right. the brilliant ones, are like 12, 15 minutes long. Then I'm sitting on, 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 on the, standing on the stage twiddling my thumbs, you know, so swaying yeah. to the music or whistling or whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, your work is. Uh, I mean, it's, I, it's... I do stand back and enjoy the music, of course, but it, yeah. it's that's why. But there are this a lot. I remember Michael Dunford. You know, we we said, "What we're going to do this time?" You know, I said, "Oh God, what do we do?" And uh, of course, the uh, rehearsals for when we when we did uh, we did a tour with Scheherazade, which is twenty five minutes long, and. Um, Mickey had the music for it, the the orchestration all written down and everything. But by God, I don't know how many pages they were on that we had to present to the band to learn. You know, it was a lot of stuff. But um, and and it's same with anything. Like, can you hear me? You know, is one that I really want to do. Um, we're we're probably doing a farewell tour next year. Um, yeah. And 
I, uh, uh, but maybe not. Who knows? I always say that. My, my agent said, you say that every year, you know. <laughs> I think everybody does. Um, yeah. does it, that, that's one of the songs that is, is a favourite of mine. I think it's brilliant. Can you hear me call your name? So, course, it, you know, yeah. it, it, it's very difficult to choose, I have to say. Yeah. Because you're I, because of the length of time that you have to perform, and you it's it, you can't really, well I guess you could you could change it from venue to venue, but then you have to you know we don't have the luxury of being able to rehearse um, like that and do all different, um, which it costs money as well to rehearse, um, because the other guys have got other things that they do you know they don't just work with re Renaissance you know. Yeah, you you have performed, you know, sold out night at the Carnegie Hall in New York, the Royal Albert Hall, London. Yeah, uh, you know, looking back at your life, any venue that you that are special to you, I suppose all of them, but there gotta be some of them that. Oh, well, you know? I mean, <laughs> we I joined the band in 1971. Yeah, uh, uh, we we went to the first tour was Germany. And then um, in th three weeks after I joined the band, I was t t not terrified. I, I get, Maybe I was, and that's why I used to clutch my hands in front of me like I was praying, you know, <laughs> oh, did God get me <laughs> uh, and And um, and we we did we did uh, Germany and, uh, you know, the, France. I remember we played the, the Paris Olympia at one point. Um, but then... Um, What was what was the question again? <laughs> no, is any particular venue that is? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah I was, what I was going to say was, I mean, everybody's dream, really, most people's dreams, are to be to be at the Albert Hall, uh, yeah. and also Carnegie Hall, and we were playing Carnegie Hall uh, four years after I joined the band, which was amazing, wow. really. You know, really. Yeah. Amazing. But we yeah. were working constantly. We were, we were. If we weren't touring, we were recording, rehearsing, you know. So it was great days, really. Yeah, yeah I was least. I can't get. Well, I can't. I think they're equal, you know, because uh, my, my mom and dad actually, though, came. They didn't come to Carnegie Hall, but they did come to the Royal Albert Hall. And all yeah. our parents had their own box to sit in, you know, boxes. And, yeah. uh, and so that was pretty special. And uh, Harry Rabinowitz was the um, um, the um, conductor. He was really famous around that time as well. Harry Rabinowitz. It was wonderful. Yeah, uh, um, it was sold out. It was sold out. And then Carnegie, Carnegie Hall, we sold three nights out. Wow, that was, that was quite amazing as well. Uh, uh, and everybody dressed up. Though uh, you know, it, it was funny. Um, well, we, we saw some people. It's more organized now, of course, you know, meeting meeting fans and everything. Yeah. Um, but uh, back then it was like you come out the stage door and they're all, all around you, really. Um, and uh, But everybody was all dressed up, all dressed up in their best clothes to, to, to go and see us at Carnegie Hall. You know, it was wow. <laughs> amazing. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. And everybody was really happy to, 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 to do that. You know, it's always nice to dress up. But I think everybody yeah, enjoyed uh, all of it. It was wonderful. Wonderful. What a place to play. My God. Unbelievable. Yeah. Good for you. I, I will bring the, your attention to a couple of tracks. The, the Sisters, which is the fourth track. It's yes. uh, for the album novella, which is, is your, you know, it's particularly strong and your particular strong on this track. The horns uh, leading to the orchestral instrument until halfway. And it's, you know, until the, the full ensemble kick in. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing song. Um, we know yeah. we, didn't, we didn't perform it very often actually in the 70s. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why, as as with um, Trip to the Fair, we didn't do very much either. Yeah. That changed yeah. when, when you know when we came back in 2009, we looked at everything a bit differently then. And um, yeah, the sisters, um, gosh, I mean, it, I mean, the original recording as well. I mean, it's wonderful with orchestra, obviously. Um, but we did a great job with it. Think you know, there was only five of us in the band, and um, we couldn't afford to use an orchestra at that point. Um, when, when we did it, I, I think that um, that would have been a good one. I'm trying to think when did when, what's, what's that? It's on is it on Shahrazad? Ocean, uh, what's it on? Um, no, the, the, the sister come from a novella, 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 right? So, 
Okay, so that was was that before? What year was well, that? If I have it, I have, I'm looking to see if I have it in front of me. Um, 74, 74, maybe. Yeah, around that time. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, um, but we, you know, John, John Tout. We, we, when I joined, we had a piano, a, a yeah. real piano, and acoustic piano, and we had a DX7, which was a synthesizer, and then we had. Um, after that, we got a. I think. I don't know which way around it was, but we got a CS80, which was a bigger machine, and it, it gave us more <clears throat> um, orchestra sounds, and you know, which was obviously made our music sound a lot better, and more like more like the the um, albums. Um, yeah, I think we did great. Actually, when you think about it, it was only four musicians because I only played tambourine and maracas. So, and you hear the 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 the, the, the band in the early days, and there was just five of us but four musicians it was really outstanding what they did to be honest i mean john, john camp had lots of foot pedals to you know to to play around with um mickey used a separate different guitars you know for different songs terry uh we had a gong at one point i remember and then we he did a lot of percussion so he wasn't just a drummer he was a percussionist as well and um uh and John Tout, yeah, John Tout. Actually, when I first joined, he had um, it, or what do you call it? Um, it was the the big organ. Uh, what was it called? And he had a Leslie, a thing called a Leslie, which was a a different box that went with the organ. Oh, Hammond 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 B three, I think it was Hammond yeah. B three organ, something like something yeah. like yeah. So yeah. That's how we made the sounds, but uh, amazing, really. Kudos to to the guys for what they did. I mean, when there were places that, um, sorry about the little crickets there. Um, yeah. uh, when there were things that um, I couldn't, the band couldn't play, that was given to me as a vocalese, you know. So I sang sang those pieces. Absolutely. Uh, the, the next track is Ananda, which is another masterpiece. I don't think you play that 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 often, right? Uh, we played it when we went to Japan. In um, we went into Japan. Oh gosh, well, two or three times with the band actually. Yeah. I think it was. Um, oh God, what is was it? Give me a second. I think it was the second time we went. But we we did it then because uh, it was re it was recorded. Um, the album was called yes. "In the Land of the Rising Sun," yep. uh, and we did. I think we um, did. We do it on there. You know, I'm not sure. I might have so full, you know, of stuff. We, uh, when I look back at, the, I mean, how many things I've done, places I've been, and people. That's, that's right. Hard I, to remember. And I get so embarrassed when somebody says you did this. I mean, this is a good one. Somebody I was in Cornwall, um, and. Yep. Uh, um, give me a sec. What's the um, Cornwall? Uh, visiting friends when I was uh, out there editing the um, one of the DVDs in uh, actually early 2020 in January. That oh. was before, just before the pandemic. And I went to visit a friend, and um, uh, that I hadn't seen for many many years. And I saw, and we, she took me to see her sister, who I hadn't seen for even longer, and. Um, she said, uh, she said to me, Anne, do you remember when you climbed on stage to 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 touch the, the Rolling Stones, try and get hold of the Rolling Stones? I said, excuse me. I said, I would never. I, I'm not that temperament. And it's, it's, it's just not me. And um, and so I, I and they said, yes, you did. And somebody else said, yes, you did. We were there with you when you did it. You climbed on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, 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 I obviously blocked it out of my mind because I didn't, you know, I don't know what happened. Maybe I'd had too much Cornish cider, which they call scrumpy. It's very cheap and very potent. <laughs> That's probably what it was. <laughs> too much, yeah, too much scrumpy. This one of this um, box it finishes with the, the Symphony of Light. Which is, in my opinion, is a masterpiece. Uh, oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, God. Uh, it, and it's very difficult to perform. I mean, I'm, like I told you before, 
uh, any, I'm not a musician. I don't play any instrument. I don't know how to sing. You know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a music lover. And I imagine that that piece is, is very difficult to perform. Never mind, you know, live, but the, just the recording itself. Yeah. Uh, it's unbelievable that you can do stuff like that. Yeah. No, it's, um, I remember when Mickey was over, I think it was 2012, mm. uh, and we were doing all the recording for a Grandine Ovento. And um, he he came up with this, uh, and I said to him, I said, I'd, I'd really, really love to, 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 to write a song together about Leonardo da Vinci. You know, mm. I, I'd looked online, there was really nothing that anybody had added had done it a few years back then i don't know whether they've done it since but uh anything that was anything like uh with the passion that we that was put into that i tell you uh, with every you know I, I mean i have a very strong connection uh to him and um to, to leonardo da vinci and so he, he said no he said it's too literal and um sorry i'm going to turn this phone off are you hit me? Yeah, let me turn it on. Oh. Yeah. Just to confirm, you no. want to power off this device. Oh, gosh. Power off. Go away. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's gone. Yeah. Um, I, so I, to I told him this, and he said, no. He, he said, adamantly, no, it's too literal. I said, well, what about that song, Starry, Starry Night? Do you know who that's about? He said, yeah. no, Vincent van Gogh. So he, he didn't say anything more, but what I did, I had this beautiful book that I'd bought, quite a large book, got several actually, but this is the biggest of Leonardo's works in colour, beautiful book, big one, hardback, big big one. And I had it in the studio and I kept it in the studio on top of Rave's piano. And I told Rave, I said, Rave, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it here. Is that okay? When Mickey was out of the room, I'm going to keep it here because I want it to soak into him. <laughs> I want it to flow into him so he sees it every day when we're recording. So anyway, um, he, he had a piece. We had this piece of music that he had. Um, and he, he put it, uh, um, we put it, we did it. It was very simple because well, the beginning part is simple, isn't it? Uh, he put it on a disc for me. So I put it on a disc and I'll go, you know, go home because he stayed up in New Jersey. I, I drove home and I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put some. I knew it was going to come quickly. And I, by the time I got home, I'd written the first part of it. So in an hour and 45 minutes of stopping the car and I stopped the car and wrote down what was coming into my head. And that was the first part, you know. The, of, of the song raised from the sunlight poured through his bedroom you know it's it's so you can you really imagine it i mean i was there i was in that room it was just poured out to me and it, mickey was thrilled with it so you know there was no doubt that the rest of the song was going to be about leonardo and it is it's uh i love the ch the changes in it because you know when Leonardo had that uh, the, the break in his in in his life when he did all the exper the you know the um uh the illustrations and uh, weapons of war even and things like that which were kind of odd really but he did a, a, many things as we know and um I think that it wasn't uh, probably wasn't the happiest time in his life but there's that I think the music shows that that, that when it starts to get an upbeat thing there's a uh, there's a musical part and that's the part where he's going going through his uh you know changes and and of course he, he probably did the yeah he needed the money for his his um paints and all things like that as well he was a vegetarian and he, I, he I didn't know that yeah, yeah. and he, he used to he used to purchase um animals that were in cages when he saw them and, and take them out and then set them free yeah, good, and he was good, a singer good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, Sing, yeah. And I think he probably played something like the lute or something. Maybe. I I, I think I read that somewhere as well. Uh, halfway the show, you began actually the second CD with uh, Blessing in Disguise, which is another masterpiece. Yes. I don't know how you do it. It's, I don't know how you write the lyrics to begin with. And how you well, I don't. To... You see, I don't. I think those lyrics are channeled. I mean, I've never said that I, I'm a, a, a lyricist up front. Yeah. Uh, 
because uh, Betty was the best. And uh, uh, not that I would ever try and do something like somebody else or whatever. I mean, yeah. uh, but um, I, I, I think that like with my paintings, I channeled that. Mm. I think it just poured through me like water very quickly. And I didn't know what it meant. And it was before I was diagnosed with breast cancer before and then and, and when i when i recorded it with tony then it was obvious that that's what it was it was it was a, you know it was a blessing in disguise a wake up call like it is for everybody when you you have an illness like that absolutely and, absolutely yeah and, and tony's voice voices in it oh my god fantastic absolutely brilliant um and it's so simple it's very simple and and very calming i think my voice, I like the I like the um the key of my voice in that song. I like my voice low. I, I don't like to sing high all the time. Yeah, and of course, my favorite song, uh, "Day of the Dreamer." Uh, oh, yes. It's another another masterpiece, man. Oh God, yeah, that, uh, it is. This yeah. so many, yeah, it is. Day of the Dreamer is fantastic. Yeah, uh, very exciting. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm amazed that we we did it, and we did it without a a conductor on stage. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and um, it, it was it came out amazing. Yeah, this is a very a very interesting song. The 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 way it moves and and the vocals and because whenever Mickey had come to me with a new song, I'd say, "Oh, this is too high for me," and he said, "Oh, shut up." He said, "You know, you you've got five octaves. <laughs> Learn it." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. You are right. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, no, it, it it it's a great song. Very exciting. It really gets the audience going. Yeah. Absolutely. Any possibility of that your back catalog to be released in vinyl? Or well, I imagine that it's very expensive to do it to begin with, right? And yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I am actually. I, I, I can't really say anything right now, but I am. I'm in, um, in talks with with some people about. And uh, well, as far as you, talk, if you're talking about the Renaissance things, that's down. That's not down to me. Um, yeah. That's down to um, at Cherry Red. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, uh, I'm talking with people now uh, for uh, for distribution for the for this this album because you know I, it, it, we have like a little cottage industry uh, here with with um, my 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 work my art my music and yeah. Renaissance since we 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 reformed and everything so it's um, a lot of work but um, so we're we're talking to some people right now about about it, taking it further farther far away further afield I was I would say you know yeah I I hope I will I will yeah, I have we, all we, your we, stuff in CD and Blu-ray but yeah. um, I, I would like that, to buy all your back catalog in vinyl as well. So. Yeah, well, I think I think that they've done. Yeah, you know, they have done two. I think they did. Um, I uh, I think they did "Song for All Seasons" and Scheherazade. I think I don't think they've done "As Your Door," but I don't yeah. know about the others. I don't. I don't know. That, um, and um, so yeah, I I I, I would. It's, I mean, who knows what's what's going to be in the future for music and how we're going to listen to it? Because I don't do any. I don't sign up for for um, iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. I don't. I just don't have the time anyway. Because because I'm. I guess I'm on the other side of it. You know, I'm the one giving it the music. That's you know, right. Not like a a, a a regular person who wants. I want to get some music. Let's go look for Renaissance on iTunes or Spotify or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. Does that? How is the sound with that? You know, is 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 as good as? Is it going to come out of your speakers as as good as a disc or a, or a vinyl disc? You know, an LP, as we say. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that I see that in the future for uh, for some of my stuff. I think I'm hoping that that might be the case. Absolutely. Feel free, to, feel free to elaborate your your art art and not just music, but you know, painting and design and drawing is a big part of your life. Yes. And you feel free to elaborate in a minute, with, you know, and or people can go to your website and buy certain prints, right? Feel free to elaborate on that. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. This mostly, um, well, uh, she clay pr prints. Um, I'm, I just, um, I didn't work on it in, through the summer at all. But I'm, I, 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 I did, I do have some art that needs to go up that I did a while ago, and because yeah. uh, of course we're not working this fall, so you know, uh, 
I, I need to get to sell my art, really. So yes. I'm, going to, I'm going to be doing that. Maybe I might be putting some up over this weekend. Uh, maybe tomorrow I might put a couple of things up. But, um, and I'm in the in the throes of, of working on the the Indiegogo pledges also. Um, that people kindly pledged money so that we could actually get the album recorded. You know, that's it's our fans again. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't. You know, we wouldn't be talking if it wasn't for the fans. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Uh, yeah, feel free to elaborate on your. Um participation with the Prog Stock Festival. Yes, uh, Prog Stock. Yeah, how was it? It was really fabulous. Uh, fabulous. Um, yeah. it was, uh, I took my art, I, I was talking to people about my art, and yeah. uh, which was great, and the music. I, I never stopped talking. That's when I started to get this thing in my throat. It's a couple of days after, and then I went to the doctor's. And um, he said I got post-nasal drip, but I'm, I still I can't sing right now. So really? I'm, wow. yeah, no, I need I need to get get, get looked at. Um, <clears throat> so um, it was fantastic. Um, it was the people, and they were there nonstop, obviously. So I I was I needed to stay with my art. I, I took my friend Kevin Mackey and Jill. They they look after the merchandise when we go on tour. So they came with me. So they helped me with a lot of stuff. Um, but it was interesting all the questions about my about the band you know obviously it was was fine and um, but also the questions about my art and how do you do this or where does it come from and, and i love talking about my art you know and so and then of course uh, patrick moraz was there is he and his wife phyllis and he was performing there did a great job of course he's he's genius you know okay. that um, it, he's, he's, um, uh, he, always, he always lifts your your spirits because he's always smiling and he's, he's, he's always funny and um, you know he's uh, and so uh, who else was there? Oh, my friend Larry Fast, of course. Um, he was there. He wasn't performing, but he was there. Uh, he was there uh, with the people from Moog. You know the Moog synthesizer. Um, as as uh, Patrick was there, and also Patrick is an artist as well. He's oh, I didn't know. No, yeah, know. yeah, he's just uh, he took some of his work there. Um, yeah, he's he, he's he's. Just, I, I I didn't know that till recently. He was really good. Yeah, and then also um, let's see, Tom Brislin, who's now with Kansas, who was with us. He he came came he came on his the day after his birthday actually. He came two days just visiting and, and looking at the bands and Rachel Flowers. If nobody's ever heard of Rachel Flowers, which is you, you, a lot of people have, but not enough, um, she she was uh, she went blind when I think she was about three months old, and oh. she is a prodigy, and um, she um, she's in, sort of in her mid twenties now. She was there with her mother, Jeannie, and um, she played and. Oh, I, I sat next to Tom Brislin, and, and um, she was doing some jazz things that she'd just written herself. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, very melodic. And then, and, and then she did one that she sang, uh, and she she's a singer as well. She's uh, and then Tom turned to me and said, "You know, what? she's just written a standard. You know, she's just brilliant." And she plays prog. She can, she you can uh, if you go on to YouTube, you can see her play Tarkus. Keith Emerson's Tarkus. It's it's unbelievable. And she plays piano. She plays acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass guitar. You can see a video of her with Dweezil Zappa and his band. She's playing lead guitar, solos. Unbelievable. And she plays um, saxophone. She sings. Uh, is she, she's, is she, when you stand next to her, you feel there's something extremely special about her. So, uh, you're 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 very humble, Ali. You know you're very special as well. So yeah, well she she deserves to be out there more. You yeah. know, but I, that's why I wanted to say Rachel Flowers. She yeah. was there, and um, I met oh um, Paul Whitehead, who did all the Genesis covers. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he was there. Um, it was great to see him again, um, and. Um, he, when I first joined Renaissance, I invited jo Jane Ralph, who was the original singer with, you know, Keith Ralph's sister, 
right? It was the original yeah. singer in Renaissance. Correct. I, I invited her to come over for dinner. It was me, John Tout. She came over. And somebody, I think maybe John Camp was there as well. I'm not sure. And and um, Jane brought her boyfriend. Her boyfriend happened to be Paul Whitehead. <laughs> Isn't, wow. that, isn't that the weirdest wow. thing? Absolutely. Weird. It's, world, world, you know, it's just like it's all these circles coming, you know, back to you know, point one or whatever. Oh, my God. Amazing. It yeah. was fabulous. And, and the organizers, you know, it was, it was God, what I don't know how people put on things like that, but it was, um, it was, uh, it, Tom and Anna, Tom P Pilieri, and I can't remember Anne's name, but fantastic job. Place mm. was the giant. It was like a giant old theatre, mm. huge, huge, and it hadn't been used. It was the first time it'd been used in years. They're, they're renovating it, so that was interesting. It was, it was a. I just enjoyed it. It was a good, good, a good way to just get out and, and meet some a lot of people. I didn't wear a mask. Some people got COVID apparently, but as did a lot of people in other places. You know, I'm, I'm, but I'm not getting any more of it. Vaccinations, thank you very much. That yeah, no, I, 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 I understand and respect that. Yes, I only yes. have two questions left. Yes. Uh, Annie, I know you are busy and uh, you, okay. you have a, uh, any any comment on the, the tribute to John Wetton that you were able to participate? Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. That's Unbelievable, man. It was. Did you see it by any chance? Uh, I wasn't there, but I ended up buying the live streaming. So yeah, I watched it a couple of times. Man, the best of the best, man. The best of the best. Because I I didn't see I haven't seen it I haven't I haven't seen my when it, when I was singing in it I haven't seen it so how, how did I do <laughs> you did very well you did, I did very well I I actually was fighting back the tears it was difficult um, it was wonderful it, to to be amongst everybody like that yeah. I felt like I was back with my tribe again you know absolutely yeah. um, I was treated very well everybody all of us um, stayed in a stately home. A stately home. It was like it's a hotel now. It's a giant. It's it's it was down in the East Sussex, I think it is West Sussex, whatever. Oh my yeah. god, it was wonderful. Uh, it, and meet everybody and then be a part, be with it, and we could see each other at breakfast as well. You know what I mean? It was like it was wonderful. And uh, when, yes, I had a, a, a conversation, good one with Rick Waitman, who I hadn't seen for a, a few years since he was in Philly, and. Mm. With him then, but it was lovely to see him and to chat with him. And mm. uh, Jeff Downs as well was there. He was performing. He played on the song I was on. Um, yeah. And a new guy called Harry um, Harry Whiteley, who, who did the singing in, in a few of the the um, Asia songs, yeah. um, was brilliant. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you saw him, or you would have seen him. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. John Mitchell as well, who I sang in the end with, you know, who sang the lead in that. Mm. Um, he, he's, wow, well, well, he, he's great too, and he's got a he, great voice, great songwriter. Mm. I mean, everybody that was there, you know, um, God, there were so many people. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about it in my mind's eye now, and how, because I remember I was upstairs uh, talking to Bill Bruford, and, and then... And then I, I thought, well, um, I think I'd better get ready. Uh, and, and so I got kind of did did a couple of things. And then Larry Larry Wise Larry Wise Wisefield came in. I was talking to him, and then all of it just got carried away with talking. I missed Bill Bill's playing because I was upset to talk to Larry with Laurie. And <laughs> somebody said, Annie, you're on in ten minutes. Oh God! I thought, oh no, I'm not ready. Yeah. Anyway, and yeah. I, 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 my heart was jumping out of my body. I, yeah. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Ran outside, got some fresh air, breathed in, said some prayers, and calmed right down, and then went on. Well, and, and Steve, Steve Hackett was there as well. Uh, big, oh, big, 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 big. It was amazing. And uh, also uh, Billy Sherwood, who's a you know, Billy, yeah. bass player, he was there as well. Um, um, Martin Orford... Um, is a great keyboard player. He was in a band called IQ. He he was he played flute on. He was behind me actually. I didn't. We didn't really have a proper sound. We we kind of went through the song once. I think, and I thought I need another ten goes around. You know. <laughs> no, I went. The show was great, and uh, yeah, as I say, I wasn't venue, there, but I, yeah, I the was venue, able to. The, the venue, venue was great. Trading yes, boundaries. Yes. I've been there many times, and uh, right. um, very well. Played. And the last question, Annie. Uh, plan for the near future. Any farewell tour in 2024? What can we do? 
myself, the listener, the viewers, people yeah, are going to be well, seeing you know, and I've got to my, be... Yeah, I've got my Christmas show coming up um, in December. Yeah. Uh, and um, that's on December 16th in Sellersville. It's always, we always have such a great time. It's more like a yeah. cabaret show than a, you know, a comedy show. It's wonderful. Um, and so that's that we do that. I've been doing that every year now for quite a while. And then yeah. um, I, I'm going to be doing something in the spring, but I can't say what it is. And it means going to another country that I've never been to before. So that's a teaser. All I right. All right. I can't tell you. I'm going to a country where I've never been before, and it's something that's going to be extremely special. And I'm really excited about that. That's in the spring. Um, yeah. And that's, that's singing as well. Um, yeah. A recording, yeah. actually. And then um, um, we're, we're planning on a tour um, for next October. Yeah. Uh, any, any, uh, about, about the country, is it Europe, South America? No, or I can't you tell you anything. Gonna... Can't tell you anything. Okay, got it. Well, I will be checking out your website. I don't, I don't want to jinx anything. No, that's of course not. Of course, it's not. Best of course not. To. But it, that's something exciting uh, 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 and something where I've wanted to go for, you know, many years. So, yep. so yeah. all right. And, and, to, yeah. and to do and to work with these people as, as well. So, but I can't. I get it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, th thank you very much. That was our conversation with Annie. Thank you very, God, very much again, Annie. You were wonderful. Uh, you know, you were born with a gift and um, not just with music, but with painting, with art. You have played with the best of the best. And, uh, and you know, looking forward to seeing your show again, you know, for people to buy your merchandise and uh, yes. buy your painting and, you know, and uh, happy to be alive in this crazy world that we live in. Yeah, you know, with people killing one another in the Middle East, in Russia, and this and that, man. We yeah, maybe true. we are doomed as a human civilization. You know, uh, and mu music is, you know, hopefully I, I, music I, I, is healing. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot. Uh, I've got a lot that I could say, but I'm not going to say it because it's, you can get yourself into trouble. Then you become a target, you know. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, just do the best you can. Be good to yeah. everybody. You know, absolutely, man. Uh, I I find it hard to forgive some people sometimes, and, and that's not a good thing. You know, somebody does, does, does something really bad. Yeah, but you have to you got it. You have to forgive because if you don't forget, uh, it's going to be always there in your mind. It's uh, things uh, like that, you know. And just be good and, and do as, yeah. as much as you can for everybody. So many people walking around, older people, older than me, you know, uh, that, that look so unhappy, and and they're walking the streets, you know, shopping or whatever. And they look so sad. And yeah, I always smile yeah. at people. It means so much to people if you say hello. Mm. You know? Absolutely. And, and and music is healing. Music is love. So, uh, you know, um, it's great. Again, Annie, thank you very much again for your time. I know you're very busy. Good luck to you. And hopefully do, I will see you very soon playing live somewhere. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Claudio. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye.